it is Mary and I am here today to do an update on the popular retailers bundle I got from B&G Trading back in the beginning of May to resell online. It was something that I bought during the quarantine as a way of sourcing when I couldn't go to the thrift stores. Now, I did have a coupon for this box and it ended up being $89 and that was for 10 items. They were all supposed to be at least $60 MSRP. So that comes to about $8.90, so about $9 per item. Let's see what sold, let's see what didn't sell, see how much money I made, was it worth it? Uh, let me just tell you right now, I would not order this box again. Before I get into the breakdown, if you like reseller, vintage, thrifting, or eco-friendly fashion content, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I make a video and you'll never miss a thing from me. Why would you want to? Or maybe you do, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Subscribe if you want, basically. And I'm gonna put pictures of everything here and tell you whether it's sold, how much it's sold for, and if it's still available. Cause you know, a lot of it is. My laptop here to reference. The first item is this metallic midi skirt with the star pattern all over it. It was by Halogen and it was a size extra large. I was excited about this item when I got it. I thought it would sell and it did sell. It took a while but it did sell $26 on eBay. So I did do free shipping because I was getting desperate and just wanted to get this out of my house. It was taking up a lot of room because it was really puffy and I sold it for $26 free shipping and my profit for that item was $14.67 after shipping and fees. The next item we have is this Free People tank top. It is like a knit top with some lace details on the shoulders. I had two items that sold right away. This was one of them. It sold for $15 on Poshmark, leaving me with a profit of $12. And that was a pretty immediate sale. The next item is also a Free People tank top and the other item that sold right away, it was a white sweater knit, very big armholes tank top by Free People. It was a size medium and it sold for $20, leaving me with a profit of $16. The next item I have is also by Free People. It is a item actually from their lingerie collection. It was like a slip dress, very sheer at the bottom, but with a sequin top. It was pretty. I thought it would sell and it did. It did take a little longer than the other two Free People items, but it did end up selling for $20 on Mercari and free shipping with the fees and shipping taken out, I had a profit of $13.54. The next item is these green pants by Blank NYC. They're a size 25, super teeny tiny. They're sitting in my closet for $55. I would be willing to make a very low offer at this point. These pants don't even have a single like. I might as well just go ahead and knock the price down. But so far, I have had absolutely no interest in them on Poshmark. Depop, Mercari, or eBay. So very disappointed with that and don't even know anyone who can fit into those. The next item is another pair of pants from Blank NYC and they are these white flared jeans. They're a bit high waisted and they're really cute. I thought they would sell for sure in the summer or springtime. Blank NYC isn't a brand I'd think many people care about, but they are a size 31. Thought that was a good size. Thought they would have some kind of interest. I have lowered the price all the way down to $18. It does have two likes. I've made offers probably for like as low as $10 to $12 and no one has purchased these jeans. Those are still sitting in my closet. If you see them and you like them, make me an offer because I just want to get them out of here. The next item is this velvet dress. It is a long sleeve fitted dress with kind of like a mock neck and a bow detail in the back. It was really pretty. The brand was 1901, which I believe is a Nordstrom brand. It sat there for a very long time. I had it priced probably around $50 and kept lowering and lowering and lowering. Did not have hardly any interest at all, maybe one or two likes. And then 
Finally, someone bought it for $16 on Poshmark, which left me with a profit of $12.80. The next piece is this Free People maxi dress with long sleeves. It was in not the best condition. There are a lot of braid edges, strings coming out. It had in fact been marked down on the tag to one cent. Nobody apparently wanted it in the store and nobody wants it in my Poshmark closet. It has a ton of likes, although no one will buy it. I've offered very low prices. I think people are skeptical of it and think something's wrong with it. I mentioned the frayed edges and things like that, but it's just getting no purchases. It is currently listed for $16, and if anyone wants to make me any offer on it, I will accept it. After that, there is this Mason and Jules collared sleeveless dress. It's very preppy. Looks like something someone might want to wear to work. I thought it would have been really good for the summer. Summer came in and went, nothing. It does have four likes. I've been making very low offers. Nobody's buying it. It's in great condition, but nothing. It's a size extra small and it is still sitting there, extra available. And finally, the last item I got from my B&G trading haul is this white lace front shirt with flowy sleeves. It is by the brand Mink Pink, like the green pants. It has not had a single like, a single bit of interest from anyone. And I mean, it's a fine shirt. It's in good condition. Size is medium. I have it currently at a $18 price on Poshmark. And you know, if anyone likes it, I will give it to them for quite, quite cheap. So make me an offer, people. Out of these 10 items, I've sold five and I sold pretty much all of them for a lot lower than I thought I would be able to sell them for. My total amount that I have made from this box is $69.01, which is not profit. It is, you know, under the amount I paid. So that's not saying like I've made $69 in profit. I've made $69 total of these items and not even made back the $89 I spent on the box. When I first got the box, I was excited. I thought these were good items and I thought they would sell for sure. Yeah, I think overall this was a great experience. I would definitely buy from them again. Alas, I was wrong and I will not be buying any more boxes from B&G Trading in the future. There's other places I could get stuff from that would be a much better value. You know, maybe the market's just oversaturated. Maybe they're brands nobody cares about. I don't know. It's just... It wasn't worth it, was super disappointed. Probably one of the worst returns for my investment of any kind of box I've ever gotten. And that's all I have to say about it. What do you think? Have you bought something from B&G Trading Company to resell before? And if you did, did you have better luck than me? Please let me know in the comments below if you did. And you know, do you think I should give it another try? Was this just a bad batch? What do you think? They do have boxes that are supposed to be, you know, better brands, but of course you have to pay more. And I had a coupon, like this was supposed to even be more expensive. So overall, I give it two thumbs down. What do you think? Let me know your opinions in the comments. I wanna hear it all. I love you, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with all this great reseller content. And I will see you soon.